Dare defy the Omni King? You will go back, or bye bye. Ah, oh, we're sorry, sire. Hello, warriors. Xeno's guards are sensational. I know this because they protect the most feared and respected character in all of history. We can see how powerful they appear to be. For example, when Goku first tried to approach Xeno, the guards immediately stopped him. It's okay. Their presence seems to be gigantic. Whis said that the Daishinkan is among the five most powerful in the entire universe. Are Xeno's guards ahead of him on this list? What if Frieza has also entered this top five? Before continuing, click like, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any news from the Dragon Ball universe, okay? Now prepare a snack. Something light so you don't get fat. A big corn pizza with a cold coke to go with it is already too good. Sit down, get comfortable, and come with me. That's awesome! Shh. I know your tendencies quite well, Goku. So he's that good, huh? Frieza's current goal is to rule over the Xenos, meaning he wants to defeat the Xenos at any cost. We've seen that he's restoring his massive army. We'll call it Frieza's Army version 2.0. Apparently, this new army will be much more powerful than the old one, because Frieza has already recruited the Hittas to serve him. As strong as Frieza has become, we know that alone he will not be able to be the Emperor of the 18 Universes, which is undoubtedly his goal as well, because after the Tournament of Power he discovered the existence of several other universes, and he will want to explore these universes and dominate planets in all of them. We can only answer this question based on what we saw in the anime. I say that because theorizing won't get us anywhere, that is, we won't come to any conclusion or obvious answer. As much as I believe they have a power that approaches Xenos, finding it is useless, we have to be sure. For starters, the first power they showed us was to get through things. They can move freely through walls, floors, or any object whatsoever. The same technique as Abito, Naruto's character. Explaining this technique, when performed, the user's body is in another dimension, which causes it to momentarily cease to be matter. This technique alone is already very appealing, as this makes it impossible to hit guards with physical blows or energy blasts. Another power of them is their incredible speed, which manages to be superior to the angels. Now imagine there, angels are faster than destroyers and guards are faster than angels. It really is something spectacular. Later, Gators. <laughs> Even though Xeno's guards are very powerful, they are still terrified of Xeno, meaning Xeno is still way above them, obviously. So for Frieza to defeat Xeno, he needs to get past his guards first, is he capable of defeating them? Pay close attention now, what I say is true, Frieza will focus on increasing his skills now, he will continue training in the temple room he found on that planet. For if in 10 days he surpassed Goku and Vegeta at their peak, Imagine if he trains one month in the temple room that would be equivalent to 30 years. He will become very powerful, undoubtedly surpassing the gods of destruction, and if he doubts even the angels. For his power is unlimited, just like that of the science, and he can endure as long as he wants in the temple hall, as he has no problem going without food, and his stamina is greater than that of most races. <laughs> The video is ending, don't forget to rate and comment if possible, thank you very much for listening, a big hug to all and see you later, bye.